Hello everybody, it's me, Tonic TZW. We're here in the Tier 7 Akazuki. This one's called Aki Daka Daka, because with so much Daka, there is so much fun. And one of the problems I have with having so many ships in port is you forget what certain ships are like to play. And uh, I decided to give a Japanese gunboat a bit of a whirl, because normally I play them like ninjas. But this one's a little bit different. You can build it as a solid gunboat, and it is absolutely bonkers. So if you haven't gone up the tech tree line to get this thing researched, watch this video, because I strongly recommend that you do. Um, I think I'm running Tanaka on this. Um, he seems to be the gun goat co gunboat commander. Um, I have Space Fishy on my torpedo boat builds. And I'm also running um, Eric Bay at 16.4. And I'm running Mordoff on this as well, which I know is an event commander and not everybody will have it. But it's brought my reload down to, I think, about 2.8 seconds. And everybody knows that Japanese HE destroyer guns are actually quite punchy. And we're going to put them to some bloody good use in this one. But heading out towards the cap, we realize straight away that there is a world of hurt out here. There's a Flander and there are two Brandenburgs. That is a hell of a lot of secondaries. There's a lot of torpedoes and there's a lot of very, very, very big guns that I don't necessarily want to be on the end of. Now what is refreshing here is that red team who've decided to push, but they're going to balls to the wall push. They're going to over commit on their push. I get a torpedo hit. Those two Brandenburgs um, have to take avoid in action. Now, I wasn't necessarily looking for kills there, but three ships making a hard push. They had to stop and rethink their decision. They took time out from shooting at our team to look at where those torpedoes were and where they had to go to avoid them. I pick up first blood. 29,000 damage, not a massive amount, but it's a start. Now I've worked out how good these guns are. I'm out my smoke, I'm spotted, and I decide, what the heck? I am just going to go herp-a-derp on these Brandenburgs. They're both looking at me, they're both shooting at me, they've got HE loaded, their secondaries are going to be going at me. I've got one guy on fire, I'm switching fire to the other guy, I'm twisting, I'm turning, I'm resetting the cap. It is going absolutely bonkers out there. You can see the chin is on the corner, there's another ship there with them. We're just going to keep getting onto these guys, I'm watching where their turrets are. I'm taking fire, I know there's a destroyer out there as well, but I don't care if I die, because this is death or glory. My propulsion goes out i hit it because you know i'm dead in the water but if i'm gonna go down i'm gonna go down fighting but not before that brandenburg goes down too here we go there's my uh damage control available i'm gonna put a spread of torpedoes out there and uh we're going to go daka 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 on this brandenburg too I was having so much fun in this because those Brandenburgs were thinking they were going to run down with secondaries blazing and absolutely trash the ships that sit on this end of the map. I really don't think they were expecting to run into such a hail of shells from a destroyer. My torpedoes are running. That guy is burning. The fires are ticking. He's managed to get out of the torpedoes. I'm thinking, is this going to be kill number three? The tops are out of chin. Boom. Ba boom Chin gets it with a fire from his secondaries. That's going to matter a little bit later on. Well, it's going to matter along with another ship in this game. 
But there we go. With two kills, we're a sniff under 62,000 damage. We know there's a destroyer out there. We know there's a cruiser out there as well. Chin has taken a huge amount of punishment. So I'm going to push back towards him so that he can get some will to rebuild, pop a heal, and then we can push out against the cruiser and the destroyer. We can see there's a ship there trying to sneak it down the center of the map towards ACAP. Um, I'm kind of trying to figure out where the rest of the team he is here. Um, there's a few of them around the back of the island where um, people normally hang around, you know, backs of islands. Somebody has uh, pushed around really, really wide. And uh, I think the other destroyer um, managed to get in to ACAP. But these guys are doing a lot of shooting which means that they're going to stay spotted. Chin is getting his will to rebuild, and I tell him that I am going to push for the cap as well. The Akatsuki looks like he's burning or flooding. The cruiser is staying on him. So, hey, there we go. He's got a fire on him. He's not long of this world, is he? There he goes. Right, that should mean that the capture point is safe. There is a Suzuya there, but there's no way in heck he can detect us, which should mean that this cap is for the taking. It's been a one apiece so far, but if you look at none of those guys that were sort of camping down the bottom end of B have decided to push for it. Nobody wants to push. And that's the state of the game, as I always say. But hey, I've had so much fun with the DACA, I'm going to have a go on this Suzuya as well, because... I can fire so quickly and adjust so quickly that we just got to stay on. doesn't matter if he turns. My next salvo is already where you're going to be. I've popped my smoke. It's running, but he isn't going to last because, ba-boom, another salvo, another salvo, another salvo. They're just going out. Honestly, it's absolutely crazy at how fast these guns are with a decent build. There is kill number three it was a bit of a taking the last sliver of health off him but we did put fire on him keep him distracted you know everybody got a piece of the action on that one now the cap is clear now is the time to push we are what 150 160 points clear at the moment we have a two ship advantage over um Red team. Um, I think their last destroyer is a Fletcher. I think there's um, oh, is it a Vladivostok or Tier Seven? Yeah, I think it's a Vlad. You can see where his shadow is at the uh, twelve o'clock of the mini map. Um, I don't know if he's still there, but I decide first things first. We're going to have the capture point. Now have a look there behind us because there's um, a Bayard there. He sat there quite comfortably at that back of the map, sort of taking a few shots here and there. But really, it's Chid and I who have been out in front of it, um, certainly with those three battleships. We had um, those two ships that were off to our right who have sadly passed away back to port. They put up a hard defense against that Suzuya and the destroyer. So the four of us there have taken on three battleships, a cruiser and a destroyer. I dare bet that Bayard has put some shots in, you know, as and when. But he is playing, you know, follow the leader. I think he's expecting everybody else to, to take it on the chin and then come in and uh, pick up the scraps a little bit later on. And uh, those words could truly be a prophecy with uh, what happens in a few minutes time. But we have this cap. We see that uh, red team are sailing on to a cap, which means that we are going to go out into the center and try and spot them. Now, the fact that that cap turned so quickly um, would first have me thinking that there are two ships on it. But then I realize that, uh, no, there's one to the north. There's one to the west of A cap. So that means that there's one ship in the middle 
and that must be the destroyer which is here Fletcher everybody else seems to be um, chasing that guy I'm more interested in defending these capture points because what I don't want to happen is for that destroyer to get out into open water and get the ability to maneuver whilst hidden and start doing big damage to our team so I'm going to sail in and I'm going to defend this cap all guns over put some torpedoes through the cap we've got a torpedo reload there as well and there we see the Iowa pushing in and oh how I wish I could farm him for some cap resets we put the second spread of torpedoes through there and I'm kind of thinking he's fired his guns can anybody else see him am I going to be able to screen with this island and get some shots onto him it's the moment of truth because we're gonna pull the trigger but uh, yeah I was the one spotting him the cruiser hasn't got a line of sight the Iowa obviously had armor piercing ready for the cruiser but having fired his gun now I think Chin has line of sight on him but then he disappears again now watch where the dot on my reticule is because it's on the water where that ship was but look how far over the position of the dot those shells are landing and I actually stopped firing because I thought that is frankly ridiculous the landing where the top of the reticule is not where the dot is where I expect it to land on the water because we should have had some extra hits on that um, battleship there the Fletcher has come out we are blind firing in the smoke we're seeing the black um, sort of explosions which means we are getting some hits but he's backing out of it and we can't see him now kind of wish I'd saved those torpedoes now but Chin is an absolute genius he is running 3k detection on his battleship the destroyer can either come out and take a full salvo straight into his face or he can back up like that which he has done he's panicked now he's hit reverse he was kind of waiting on that corner for torpedoes chin has got him spotted i switch fire to the iowa try to get some shots across the top but then realize that the iowa is going to push in to the um, right hand side there and try and um, basically put turrets through chin as he comes around the corner but the fletcher is still spotted he's running he's burning these guns are doing the business again and we pick up kill number four there are two ships left on the game i'm thinking kraken two battleships i haven't got torpedoes up we're going to have to rely on the daka 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 of the akazuki's guns i'm pushing round. it's very dangerous all i want is an angle on this guy and i think i can get it from here and i'm trying to look for where he is there we go we get a fire but now we push out a little bit too far chin is pushing round. he's going to tank him he's going to distract him and he's hoping that i can get enough fire onto this guy to basically take him down for a crack and kill he does ask if he wants him to take a shot and i said yep you know put something into him try and whittle him down we're on 948 points there is a minute on the clock and i'm hammering this guy as hard as i can i'm expecting his next reload to be straight at me but it looks like he's going on the bayard who has finally decided to chirp in and play the damn game but i'm trying to do this iowa for my kraken as hard as i can and i'm watching each salvo come in from that bayard trying to time my shots but he gets it with a fire at the last second kraken denied after 404 main gun hits four kills a cap a cap reset that 
was absolute madness at its finest and i will be playing this boat some more but there you go the bayard finishes sixth for the team with his lowly kill on that iowa i did message him afterwards and say keep an eye on things you know i was after a crack in there i don't expect favors but when he's played from the back of the map for the majority of the game he shouldn't be chirping into the last minute to sneak himself a kill click one of these links until next time take care goodbye